Hey guys, Rami here and welcome to another video. This is your second stimulus check update and second stimulus package update. And boy, is it getting interesting these days. In this video though, I wanna to talk to you about the ridiculous timeline that we have now for this second stimulus package. Just please hit the like button on the video. And hey, if you're a subscriber to my channel already, Thank you so much, I appreciate it. If not, please consider subscribing right now so I can give you all the accurate and up-to-date stimulus check updates, plus smart money and finance tips. All right, so Senator Mitch McConnell said last Friday that we're taking a careful look at a fourth and final bill. You can anticipate the decision being made on whether to go forward in about a month, and it will be narrowly crafted designed to help us where we are a month from now, not where we were three months ago. So there are a few takeaways here. First is that there will be another bill. At least it sounds like there will be. Second thing is that this will be the final bill. The third and the most frustrating is that the decision will be made in about a month. Yes, sure, let all Americans wait for another month. And the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, has a comeback for that wait and see approach. She said, we need a pause, tell that to the virus. Then she also says, is the virus taking a pause? Is hunger in America taking a pause? But see, here's, here's what I have a problem with about this whole thing. If the House and the Senate were really trying to focus on the American people and help people like you and me directly, then something like the one-time payment of $1,200 plus the dependent money, it would cost what, like, I don't know, 300, 400 billion dollars? Even the 600 dollars per week unemployment money, that doesn't make that much sense because the reasons that we talked about before, like getting paid more than when you were working. But anyway, if even you give that to the 40 million people who filed for unemployment for 10 weeks, let's say, whatever the duration for it, that would cost 240 billion dollars. So the cost of directly helping the American people will cost about 500 billion dollars not three trillion dollars there's too much money in the heroes act it's too fatty and the house knew it would never pass the senate as is so they both need to focus on the true needs of the american people and pass something that's reasonable then senator mitch mcconnell also said that the next relief bill will be written in the senate and supported by the trump administration so i don't know if that means they're going to start from scratch or what but he laid out the main priorities which we kind of knew already for a long time. So not sure why not just put something together and get it out soon. He clearly said he will not support a plan that does not include a measure to shield doctors and businesses from certain lawsuits as the economy reopens. He also said that they would continue to help those who will remain unemployed. We're yet to see how they want to do that since we know they are totally against extending the $600 per week unemployment benefits. And they also said they want to reasonably help states and local governments. Okay, we also knew that and that should be bipartisan. And they also want to help small businesses. So bottom line, like help the states and local governments, have reasonable liability shields, stimulus check for the people, something for unemployment and increase money for the PPP program to help small businesses. There, I gave you a rough draft of the next bill. Write something up and pass it and have the president sign it already. But going back to the timeline that we have, take a look at this calendar here. It doesn't look like the House is expecting to vote on anything before June 30th. They have on their calendar three days for voting, June 30th, July 1st, and the 2nd. Then if we take a look at the Senate's calendar, they'll be on their July recess from July 3rd to the 19th. It must be nice. So if they pass something during the time they're in session between their July recess and their August recess, and if that something includes a stimulus check, then I really don't think we'll be getting any checks until the second week of August. I hope I'm wrong and I hope we would get things faster than that, but we're just waiting here. And as more and more states and businesses start opening up, the less likely we would see a stimulus check because they believe everything will be back to normal and people will start working in it. And that worries me and frustrates me because I don't see it really going back to normal anytime soon. What do you guys think about all this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's have a discussion about it. And at this point, do you think we'll actually get a second stimulus check? 
And how do you feel about no action until the end of June? Thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already and click the notifications bell. And don't forget to get your free stock from Robinhood and two free stocks from Webull with one of them potentially worth $1,400 when you deposit only $100. Links in the description below. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.